and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for this casual Friday stream. We're going to kick it off with a Rek'Sai lab. We're going to be playing in legendary mode. And then we got some viewer submitted uh, meme tier decks that we're going to be playing on over in normal after this. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and get to this. So we're going to be, uh, you know, playing another legendary um lab where as y'all know i'm trying to win one with every single champion and put a video up there on youtube with each one for a nice little walkthrough or guide for y'all that are maybe struggling with these different champions so let's start with rek'sai all right so rek'sai has um some different abilities different powers that can be pretty useful i i thought that lie in wait was going to be the most useful one because lie in wait says that all of your allies with three or that cost three or less mana are are lurkers um, but that really only makes your researchers, your chronomancer, like those two things to start with lurkers. So it doesn't really actually help you that much at the beginning. And then maybe if you get other allies that, you know, cost three or less, you know, those can be lurkers and stuff like that. But actually what I've found to be a more powerful power, just a better power for the deck is evolution. So basically you want, cause you want to get Rek'Sai to, to get to that 10 power as fast as you can, right? So it can attack and, and level up and things like that. And if you have every, you know, more things be lurkers, sure that will help, but doesn't help that much. But evolution, they get plus one, plus one for each keyword. So to start with, Rek'Sai only has one keyword. So it'll just be plus one, plus one. But as you know, whenever you go through these, um, you, you add a lot more keywords into a lot of different cards and you can get Rek'Sai a lot more keywords while you're playing. So once you add like, th you know, three more keywords to Rek'Sai, now suddenly it has plus four, plus four, and you know, then it gets to that that uh, 10 power super fast. Okay, so that's, that's what I've kind of found. And then also with the evolution can also just uh, help out some other cards. Now right away, you know, you only have like, like re again, Researcher's Chronomancer doesn't really help with those two. But your your uh, Xerxai Caller is a 3-4. That's big. But the Hatchling. The Hatchling turns into a 3-3. Three, because three, it has both Fearsome and Lurk. So round one, being able to play the 3-3. Three, three, they can attack, turn into a 4-3. If you hit the Lurk, that's big. So that really helps out early on. But then also even your Dune Breaker. Getting the, it, it has two keywords also. Overwhelm, Lurk. So this thing has eight health. Um, you know, that that's really big. So I think the evolution with both, and actually it's going to be the same with Pike. I think with both Pike and Rek'Sai, this is the best, um, best starting ability. So let's go through them. Let's go play our uh, nine games here. Okay, so let's see how we do. We got a couple of Rek'Sai's early. But Rek'Sai early is not really the best. You want to put it on top because you want to lurk it on top. And, um, you know, of course, it goes away right away. Perfect. Hatchling is the best card for you to see in your opener. I like the Xenotype Researchers as well. Um, Ruthless Predator. I kind of wish they just didn't have Ruthless Predator <laughs> in the list, right? It just makes your deck pretty much worse. But... I guess, like, the reason why they have it in there is to try to help Rek'Sai level up. Um, I don't want any of these. We can always rely on you skip. To keep us safe. To me. Takes a little while to get going with this, you know, how you don't have the, all the keywords immediately. Um, your second Focus, passive power is going to be very important with evolution but of course to get a second passive power you got to get through thresh first get through shadow owls first okay so we'll see what we hit with xenotype researchers I seem to always hit the pesky specter. That's pretty fearsome. Okay. We'll trade, trade, block. Down to 27. Well, 
else we get? Rek'Sai. Alright, cool. We'll put Rek'Sai on top. Awesome. Alright, got that double lurk. Now, we don't really need to actually draw Rek'Sai. I'll go ahead and do this. Oh, how about this Rek'Sai? A 9-9 Rek'Sai? Okay, well that's even better. <laughs> I guess we can draw that one. And of course this Doombreaker gets that plus two, plus two, because the evolution. Oh, we'll take some damage. All right, trade. Block, block, block. Don't touch it. No, they, they don't play Spider Sentry, but they have the, um, the Frenzied Skitter. That can be problematic sometimes. I might have said like the wrong card, but Frenzied Skitter uh, making your, you know, giving the minus one, minus zero can be tough sometimes. Okay, let's see. Let's do plus two on the wreck side. We'll make you vulnerable. And just throw you in front of the pesky specter. Rek'Sai level up. Plus Rek'Sai's level up is really cool. Another good thing about doing the Rek'Sai in the labs. And whenever Rek'Sai levels up, it does get the Overwhelm, so it gets that additional plus one, plus zero as well. Yep, out of the way does work with level 2 Taric. Yep. They will stay, can't take damage or die for the rest of the game. Yep. Alright, who's our secondary champion going to be? I mean... I don't always have the most success with Victor. But we do have Evolution, and... Then Armed Gearhead's like another one mana 3 3. So you gotta like that. And then you can create another Armed Gearhead very easily. And then, you know, Victor, every every um, keyword gets. Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like we gotta do that. Yeah. Every keyword gets plus one, plus one. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have Evolution Victor. I'm real. I'm excited about the armed gearhead for sure. Uh, let me keep this. Cool. Because this this would have been you know three mana. Like round two, I could have played a three three. Perfect. Yes, it's a Rexi on top. I right, got some luck. So this Rek'Sai is going to be now 6 power. Okay, so they're doing that. So let's definitely block the Mist Wraith because that thing's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, but that put a Mist Wraith in play, right, Gluttony? Oh, they kind of got me. Okay, okay. Not bad. Not bad, opponent. Not bad. We get a lurk. We do not get a lurk. Um, I'm gonna just skip, I think. Yeah, I'm ready. Now do we get a lurk? Nope. Ugh. I need more of those. All right, we're gonna just have Blocker Rek'Sai. This. We need we need Blocker Rek'Sai. All right, so it's six power. Ruthless Predator can make it eight. If we hit Lurk, it's gonna be ten. I think we just go ahead and try. I think we go ahead and try to hit Lurk. 
Oh wait, it's seven? Why is this one seven? Why was the other one six and this one seven? I don't know, but... It will definitely be ten now. Because it gets the plus one plus zero itself. So level up, make it eleven. Because the overwhelm. Huh. Alright. I guess 12. Went from 11 to 12. Oh, right, right, right. Because it's 10, so it levels up because it's 10, so it goes to 11 when it levels up, but then the overwhelm makes it 12. Alright, so it gets plus 2 for it to level up. Okay. So we can either start just, you know, we can make it a, we can make it, basically we can choose which way we want to go. We can make this a Victor deck and just, you know, give a bunch of keywords to Victor or a Rek'Sai deck. And you know what? I want to be a Rek'Sai deck. So I want to give a bunch of keywords to Rek'Sai. Um, so which keyword do I want to give? Maybe Challenger? Someone can even play a Rek'Sai early with Challenger. Hey, how about that? We can get Xerxereth. That's a reinforcement. Let's just get another Lurker in there. Okay. Not bad. You know, like, Victor can get all the keywords anyway. Let's give let's give some to Rek'Sai. Right? Rek'Sai does have a really good level up animation. Alright, so send away the lurkers. And cool, cool. You are a lurker. The chains, they never stop. Okay, so we got four, and then it's it'd currently be six. Ruthless Predator, eight. So if we hit a lurker on top, we'll level up Rek'Sai next round. But we had to hit a lurker. So our best draw would be like a Feral Presence to kind of help make sure that we hit. Feral Presence? No. Well, let's go for it. Already has Challenger anyway, but... Come on, hit! Yes, we hit! Oh, and it was a Rek'Sai on top, even the best! Haha, <laughs> already with Victor, we got round three. Round three GG's. Because now it's 13 power, Overwhelm. <laughs> yes. Okay, experiment succeeded. Now this is going to be big. What? other passive power are we going to get with the evolution? I mean, we could take a sapling, I guess. It's Saplings are going to be th three twos, because they, they'll have challengers, so they'll be three twos. But that doesn't really help my Rek'Sai level up. But we do get, I mean, we get three two challenger every single time we have the attack token. That can be pretty nice. That can take down, like, Professor Von Yip immediately. And just, like, all the starting units and everything. Like, that's... I mean, I should probably take that, but I, I kind of don't want to take that, if that makes sense. kind of want to re-roll. And look for something that gives powers to help out Rek'Sai. Or gives keywords, sorry. Okay, I think I'm going to re-roll. I think I'm going to re-roll, but I should probably be taking this. Okay. Yeah, I should be taking this, but I want to reroll to try to make a cool Rek'Sai run. 
but that this would help me win this for sure. Okay, I'm not gonna reroll a second time. So it looks like we get it because these I don't care about these. I don't know, I'll just take this nature's revenge. I don't know if that'll really help. Uh, don't care. Add two copies to the deck. Yeah. Guess I'm taking quicksand. Because against um, against like these Freljord ones, like they can get some really big overwhelms. Like Sed both Sejuani and Victor can get really big threats, and so um, with, with overwhelm and elusive and things like that, so quicksand can help out against those. Yeah, it's... Okay, so I, I wasted a reroll. But it's it's hard to pass that up. What do I do? What don't I These do? saplings. Okay, you are the lurker. It's not my favorite power, right? I would have rather had, like, welcome gifts. Or welcome gifts is a good one. Sharing is caring that like gives your keywords to other things. That one's a great one. Broke my hand, so I got a new one. Okay, I won't be able to level up Rexai this next round. Let's just go ahead and go with this Chronomancer. Put Lurk on top. I'm gonna go Gearhead again, basically because I can play Gearhead and Caller this round. Next round's round five. I can play Chronomancer and Rek'Sai together. Alright, let's see what we hit. Rek'Sai! Ugh, I wanted a Rek'Sai. Okay, so if I put this Dune Breaker... I mean, we'll just put the Dune Breaker on top, but... Will this... I guess this may not be enough, will it? Yeah, it's just gonna be nine. Well, at least we'll get to nine. I needed to find a Rek'Sai on top. Oh, why didn't I challenge there? <laughs> I should have. Oh, man. Oh, I would have been four extra damage. I would have killed him. I forgot about that sapling. I was just thinking... Yeah, I was thinking about, like, the Rek'Sai leveling up and all that kind of stuff. My bad. Alright, so this thing's gonna be big. If I have 8 plus power, give me Fearsome Overwhelm and Spell Shield. I guess it's only gonna have 7 power to start with. This is probably the way to go with these things having augment. Because if we miss lurk, which is more than likely, right? It's it's likely that we miss lurk. All right. So we took four damage with the hunters. First round of Freljord. Not bad. I don't really want any of these. I guess I'm gonna reroll. Because I just don't want any of these. But I don't like using my rerolls on this kind of stuff. I want to use my rerolls on like the passive powers like we did before. This thing is just a 6 5 that <laughs> we probably won't hit allegiance. <laughs> but I guess if we do, it'd be awesome. But it'd still just be a 4 mana 6 5. 
or Concussive Palm that's cost 3. We already have a whole bunch of Quicksands. I don't really need Quicksands and Concussive Palms, right? So I guess I'll just take this thing. You never know. Okay, so we have two mana Xerxite Caller or Chronomancer get Fury. Fur like, this is important for Chronomancer to have Fury because then it turns into a 3-4. But, of course, having more Lurkers is always good. And then this thing gets to two cost. We'll do that. We'll get more Lurkers in the deck. Okay, let's put the Rek size back because we want to lurk those. And we will keep our other lurkers. Ooh. That's a good avalanche. All right, well, I guess we'll try trading because of course we want to attack to have the opportunity to lurk. Okay, they did not want to trade. Calculate Creations helps with the augment on these things, but I'll just take the Scavenger. I won't fail. Okay, so they didn't want to trade before, but now they will. But they have the Elixir of Iron. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Lurker on top. One mana Lurker. So I'm going to just save this one spell mana. I'm not going to play the gear head so that I can play next round. I can play Victor and have the one spell mana. Start getting keywords on Victor. Taking four. Should be okay. Never know. We may get life steal. Regen. Got different options to go here. I think I'm gonna play this Sump Snipe Scavenger. Oh, we hit Elusive already. Okay, we missed him. Yeah, Lurk. That was an important lurk. Okay, our deck's looking good. Life steal? Nope. It's like the last thing is to get Victor life steal just simply to. Uh, you know, heal the Nexus back to 30, because obviously we're going to be winning this. Like, the Victor can just attack for lethal right now. It's elusive, spell shield, all that stuff. So this is like a part of the game where if you're patient and you want to make sure you're at 30, you could I could just sit here, like, forever and just, like, kill stuff. Right, and then and not attack with these and just wait till Victor has lifesteal and then get back up to 30. But I don't think it will. I don't think it will really matter. I don't think we need to do that. But if you're patient, you can, um, you know, kind of gain the system sometimes. With um, same thing with like welcome gifts that gives you a random keyword, you can kind of do that of just keep playing stuff and wait for life steal. If you're patient and want to try to set up, you know, your best option. So we could be at 30, but we're gonna be at 22 and hope that's good enough. Okay, I think I like Exhaust, Heal Your Nexus 3. Yeah, let's take Exhaust, Heal Nexus 3. Oh. These are not bad. I love double Xenotype Researchers. That's really cool. Um, you know, because then you get 
grant six random allies in your deck plus three plus three instead of just three. Let's go with that. But like this is kind of nice. But yeah, let's let's go with that. Yeah, Feral Presence draw one's really nice, right? Because it's zero mana, predict then draw. The the thing about like the predict then draw is like you won't be able to set up your top card of your deck, which is like what Feral Presence is, is supposed to do. You won't be able to set it up for the lurk because you'll just draw that card immediately. Yeah, I mean, I can't really complain about any of this. Yeah, this <laughs> getting this three-two challenger this, every single time you have the attack token is is really good. Um, I guess we'll take another Zerusite Caller. Let's see, next round. So we need to save a spell mana. I want to play Ruthless Predator. I don't know. I don't really need any of these, honestly. I guess I'll just take. A Yeah, I don't need to play with this better. We can play Exhaust, though. So, getting rid of... Hmm. Sorry, getting rid of Weirding Stones is always really important. Oh, we didn't hit Lurk. That's too bad. Um, yeah. Because otherwise, like, they get to Sedjuani on round 5 with the attack token. You know, like, whenever they have, like, they can attack. Well, I guess it's not they, they don't get to attack that round. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, 19. This quicksand's gonna really keep us safe. At least it should. And now we go to Victor Town. And let's get all the keywords possible. Yeah, this sapling is real good. Like, I didn't need to use... I wasted a... Um, which I guess I should have just done this first. Yeah, th this should be four power right here anyway. Okay, anyway, I, I wasted a reroll on the sapling, because I should have just taken the sapling the first time, but I wanted to try to make it a cooler Rek'Sai deck. So yeah, I wasted a... Wasted a reroll. Alright, so it gives me double quicksand. Yes, lifesteal. Okay. I guess I don't really even need to, because of that life steal. I just don't even need to use this quicksand. I can just save it. All right, we have not done good hitting lurk today. Oh no! 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 Don't kill it! No. Okay. Just frostbites. That's fine. <laughs> we miss Lurk every single time. Okay, we haven't done good hitting Lurk. But we'll be just fine. Oh, no Fury of the North. I was definitely expecting them to do Fury of the North. Interesting reaction. 
All right, we got six things with the plus three, plus three. Do we draw one? Close. It's not broken. Just needs ah. a little love. I want to do that first, because then if we hit elusive, we can give Victor elusive before this. <laughs> Given talks that this is a Victor deck now, as it always should have been. It won't always be, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna keep on trying to make it a Rek'Sai deck. We've just been drawing Victor a lot more. Yeah, there's Rek'Sai. Found him. Okay. Let's see what our last power is. Hoping for welcome gifts or sharing is caring. Dragon's Rage? Okay, we'll take Dragon's Rage. The Dragon's Rage gives them all fury, so that, that's again gives everything fury, then it also gives everything plus one plus one. Gets a keyword. Alright, Rek'Sai with Chain Vest. Or I guess Rek'Sai just plus two plus two is better then chain vest cuz that'll get closer to 10. Okay, we got Rexai with plus 2 plus 2. So now Rexai will have um so it usually starts at 3. Now we'll start at 5 with that plus 2 plus 2 and then 6 with lurk, 7 with challenger, 8 with uh, let's see, let's put you back and you back. 8 with um fury. Awesome. So now Ruthless Predator will be able to get it. Get it to 10. Alright, well that gets it to 10 also. Now these saplings are 4 threes. Okay, now our deck's broken. <laughs> Why not upgrade Victor? Uh, I think... I mean, I think the Rex size is a little better, because once we have... Alright, this heals my Nexus 3. I'm gonna take that. Because Rek'Sai now levels up immediately, like every single time. So it's, it's like 3 mana, it's gonna be attacking for 12 on round 3 with Challenger. Like, Victor takes a lot longer to to do. I guess you, you, I just want to heal my Nexus. You. Oh, and we hit Lurk. So attack for 13. Overwhelm. No, it's not the first time I've played Victor with Evolution. But, I mean, look at this. This is round three, this thing. <laughs> That's why I'm buffing up the Rek'Sai. How ridiculous that is. Sorry, Victor. No, don't do that. What, how big is there it's going to be? Okay, so still a 7-5. That's still pretty big. These aren't lurk cards, but that Feral Presence is good to have because it just gets out of my hand. Yeah, that's what I wanted to look, find a lurk card and put it on top, but it didn't work out. Aroas, get in the sub. Thank you, AB Carter. We are going to win this. <laughs> I think we are. 
Alright, well, let's go Xenotype Researchers. Make another Xenotype Researchers. Sure, one day I should my stuff. No biggie. Perfect. See, like, that's why we have to just... Whenever you have evolution, you want, like, those things that it just gives all your things keywords. You see, like, how good Fury is with this. Like, usually, you know, give everything Fury, eh, it's alright. But if it gives them plus one, plus one in Fury, now we're talking. Okay, let's get some more Lurkers in here. Well... Okay, so if I do this one, then it costs four mana, but then it's gets the plus four, plus four. I mean... I'm gonna re-roll this, I think. I, I could go one mana quicksand, I guess, but then that's that gives me a ton of quicksands, but they're only one mana. Yeah, maybe I'll just go one mana quicksand. Just make sure that we can't lose, basically. Yeah. I wanna re-roll and see if we hit one of the champions though, right? See if we can get another thing on Rek'Sai or Victor. Especially Rek'Sai. We can re-roll. We'll be fine. Ah. Okay, so didn't get it. But we got good options. We can make this Dune Breaker cost four and get more Lurkers in the deck, or again, just have the one mana quicksand and make sure that we d definitely can't lose. Um, this thing, yeah, because it gets plus three, plus three immediately, right? So it's a six, nine, without anything else, Lurker for four mana. Sure. We'll go four mana with that. Objectively, having one mana quicksands probably is the best, but we don't need it. We'll be fine. Alright, so you go away. And... Well... I guess we actually keep Chronomancer over this, because we want to put the Lurkers in the deck. So now we got round two, three, four. Yeah, this, this sapling thing's kind of broken. It's going to make our life a little easier. <laughs> yeah, they really want us to have more quicksands, don't they? I'll take a feral presence. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. It's not safe. All right, double Xenotype. And now we can Feral Presence and put Rek'Sai on top. Rek'Sai. No Rek'Sai. I mean, I could keep getting more Xenotypes, but I'll pass and look for, you know, to try to hit. Uh, what's it called? Lurk. Cool. Is it Rek'Sai? Whoa, we hit Rek'Sai, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, is it going to be a plus three, plus three Rek'Sai also? It is? From Xenotype! Oh, it's a 10-11. Alright, so we're playing that next round. So that means we'll have two other mana next round. So it's really like, which one of these two do we want to play? Do we want to get another... want to get Doombreaker in play, or get another Xenotype and get another six plus three, plus threes in there? We'll just get the Doombreaker in play. Doombreaker cool. Alright, block there, block there, take 6 down to 16. Hopefully that's the last damage we take. Cool. Chronomancer allows us to put... Oh, I should probably... I don't know, maybe I should even take that other thing that heals my Nexus 3. Look, allows us to put another Lurker on top. All right, you challenge you, and then you take this thing. This thing's gonna be big. <laughs> this Rek'Sai is ridiculous. 
As I'm telling y'all, evolution is a wonderful, wonderful uh, power to start with, right? Like, it doesn't look great at first, because you don't have a lot of things with keywords at first. But then you start putting all these keywords on stuff. And then it gets silly. Alright, free attack snap draw swarm. Get more plus three plus threes in there. I just improvised on the instructions you crafted. I want to swing with this thing with getting all the keywords on this thing. Because this thing then gains, what, fearsome, overwhelming spell shield, so it turns into 12 power. <laughs> it gains three keywords, so plus three, plus three. Alright, not bad. We got one more to go. We just gotta get through Victor. I'm out of rerolls. We're hoping to see a power on Rek'Sai. Man, they really want me to get these cheaper quicksands. So no rerolls. Um, we're just gonna take this, I guess. We'll just have zero mana quicksand because fear. Obviously, this already has fury, so that doesn't do anything. And you know that's whatever. So looks like we got zero mana quicksand. Good thing we didn't get the minus two cost quicksand. <laughs> All right, sixteen life. Yeah, we got this. All right, you you gone. We can make this a victor game. Yeah, we could do a victor game. We did a couple of Rek'Sai games in a row. Now we could have a victor game. Can you improve perfection? Broke my hand, so I got a new one. The ah, missed. Arm that was a nice hit. Well, this is going to be a hit. I love that we got the two calculator creations. That doesn't help much. have this armed gear head for now, which will give me some trouble. This thing's going to be a 6-8. Seven, 7-9. Right, it gets Fury. Block there, block there, taking 6. Well, this is scary. They could, I could lose. A couple get excited. Hmm. Yeah, old labs are still awesome. Challenge. All right, how much? Okay, so this could probably just be lethal, actually. If I, if I just challenge here, here, yeah, it's gonna be lethal. This 12 power is about to turn into what? 14? 15? That's a lot of overwhelm. Okay, got there. 
Okay, Rek'Sai. <laughs> we're still a Rek'Sai deck. I, I thought we were going to have a victor game, but no. Rek'Sai just ends that game so fast. Alright, cool. So see, that's how you win with Rek'Sai. You gotta make Rek'Sai real big. I think evolution's the best keyword to start with to make Rek'Sai big, because then you're able to give Rek'Sai keywords throughout the game, so that whenever you play Rek'Sai, it gets plus one, plus one for each one of those keywords. It gets to 10 power real easily, so you immediately have it 10 power. Perfect. And the, the Nature's Revenge made it pretty easy as well. Um, yeah, really didn't do very much with Victor, but, <laughs> you know, this, this is... Uh, you know, awesome combination there. So that's that's how you win legendary mode with Rek'Sai. Start with evolution, get Rek'Sai keywords, play Rek'Sai on three, attack it because you want you want Rek'Sai on on round three to be leveling up. And I've had uh, you know like the one before this in the um, the heroic difficulty, I had a you know an even crazier uh, Rek'Sai one with with uh, having it level up round three all the time. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the plan for Rek'Sai. All right, so anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, and as always, leave those comments, and hopefully this helps you succeed with Rek'Sai if you were having some trouble. It's not necessarily about getting the Lurk power, which I thought it would be. I think Evolution is the best one to go with. All right, but that's going to be it here for this video, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.